Hello everybody, welcome back. Bastion, uh, right where we left off, uh, we're in the Skyway. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight into the Workman Ward. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. <laughs> we're not That'll be a core time. down one of these twisted streets. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. So the bluish uh, squirts throw themselves towards you, and the the greenish ones run away from you. Makes them harder to hit. And this is Scum an awesome weapon. Scumbag can digest just about anything, except for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. So this is the first of our hybrid weapons. So we can both strike very quickly with it, or if we want to, we can throw it. Except it's much harder to get a critical shot out of it than the bow, because it's a much shorter amount of time. Than it. It's very good at taking out the corn bins. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tame. Now that is a decoy. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Them squirts just don't know when to quit. War Machete is one of my favorite weapons of the entire game. Uh, let's head up here. Up north is where the gas fellow foreman used to live, tending to his flock. So, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the, uh, the gas fellows are intelligent beings. They're as intelligent as humans. Uh, they are just a little bit simpler. They, they don't speak, they make noises, and they're a little bit stranger. They... And they, there it is. But it's locked down go. tight in an alloy cage. A blustery old foreman's keeping his fellas in check, almost like he's showboating for the crowd. So, the only person we have to worry about here is the foreman. And now there's a new marshal in town. Because all of those guys did was just throw us back into the ring. There was no escape in that. He hears the whole place groan. But it's too tough to fall. Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. Ragged hood. No white gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. Actually, he heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Wonderful, there's a forge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. against this guy. But we can attack him very quickly. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and heal. Let's get rid of this cart. There's a, a couple of the fragments of the old world in there. Oh, a healing pot. Sweet! Inside the forge, Key can fine-tune those instruments of his. Now this is one of the uses for uh, fragments of the old world. you see that this will pop up, and each of our upgrades costs a certain amount of fragments of the old world as well as one of the upgrade items that we have here. So something heavy is used to upgrade the sail hammer, and something stringy is used to upgrade the breaker's bow. Um, let's just forego getting any upgrades at this point, because now eh, we can get something for this. Here we go. We can get plus two target penetration per shot, which is, which would bring it up to uh, either four or five, I can't remember. And then also 25% draw speed, which is actually my preferred. With a good length of Miska, preferred, that bow's like new again. Which is actually my preferred upgrade. So it takes less time to draw the bow back all the way. What's over here? Odd place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. 
Never much cared for that big wide grin of his. Oh, hello. We got very quiet all of a sudden. He heads for the biggest dump in town. Scumbag Alley. Nice. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. So we have the old foreman, and now we have Gershel, which is the scumbag. Now what's cool about scumbags is we can actually defend against them with the counterattack, even though they're just running into us. The calamity ain't done much for Gershel's sunny disposition. Easiest way is actually to counterattack them, but you usually do get hurt. He cuts up Gershel like a vine apple. Old scumbag didn't feel a thing. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. Alright, so let's head back. Oh, there are squirts everywhere. Literally, oh! Something sharp. Which is an upgrade for our war machete. Beautiful stuff! He comes back. Just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. Let's talk to him first. The windbags used to be all right. Then the calamity took the floor out from under him. So uh, the windbags actually used to live underground, which is why they all come out of the ground. Um, and as you can see, there's not much ground left. So their new option is to uh, come out above. We've got a new little friend here who spawned from uh, us getting that item, and let's insert the, the core into the monument. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. Alright, so we got another foundation that's up. And like I said before, um, we can put our arsenal in there. Or our forge. See, this is one of the this is one of the big decisions of the entire game, is what do you need the most right now? So I'm thinking that we need the forge the most right now. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. Let's upgrade our war machete. Uh, critical hit chance, attacks cripple foes, and also attacks deal damage over time. Um, this is a hard decision, actually. The little Zolwood oil and that blade shines like a light. Alright. So, let's go back out there. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. So, we've got two no more locations. We can either go to Sundown Path, or we can go to the Melting Pot. Um, which is a cargo area, and then this is... It used to be a, uh, a an actual dating spot in the old Ceylondian kind of republic empire. I don't know what they called it. Let's try out the Proving Ground again. Let's see if we can actually get it this time. And let's not be total idiots about it. Kid ain't had enough of the Breaker's Barracks. So I'm thinking one, two... Three, four, and then the last one is five. Ah, uh, we've already screwed up. Takes practice, and a mighty strong bow helps too. Oh, you know what? Let's not do that, sir. Let's uh, return to the bastion. I know an upgrade that's actually going to help us a lot. We saw it last episode, or actually this episode, when we were upgrading our bow. 
uh, we did the 25% draw speed, but there's also the two target penetration, which we can switch between at any time. Which is the cool thing about the forge, is you always have two options you can switch between if you don't like one of them. Legend of Zelda this by rolling everywhere. Legend of Zelda ing? I don't think that's a word. Straight back into the Breaker Barracks. Alright. So that made it a lot easier to do that. Good stuff. Ah, we screwed up. Let's restart. Constantly falling straight down on our face. It is not good for our brain. Okay, we got all those. I flinch every time I do this. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. He's feeling all really right. proud of that show. Breaker volley. New skill. And straight back to the Bastion. I almost don't believe it when he says he passed the Breaker's challenge. Alright, I think that's a good stopping point for this episode. Uh, if you liked it, please leave a comment or a like. Uh, if you like the content, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting stuff like this in the future. And have a wonderful day.